The length of a vector, v, is called its modulus and is written in this form. Here we have the vector v, which is xi plus yj. The modulus of vector v, written like this, is the length of this vector, which is the length of this blue line. The length from the origin, the point zero zero, over to here is x, and this length is y. The modulus of vector v is the modulus of xi plus yj. This is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. This is found using Pythagoras, as this triangle here is a right angle triangle where the modulus of v is the hypotenuse. So for example, if you have a vector a equal to 3i minus 2j, the modulus of vector a is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus minus 2 squared, which is equal to the square root of 9 plus 4, which is equal to the root 13. The dot product of vectors is a scalar, which measures the tendency of the vectors to point in the same direction. Here we have the vector x and the vector y, where theta is the smaller angle between vector x and vector y. The dot product of vector x with y is written like this. This is where it got its name from, the dot here, is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between vector x and vector y. We you multiply the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the smaller angle between the two vectors, the answer is a scalar, which is just a number. So that's the other name often given to this, is the scalar product. So the dot product, or the scalar product, both refer to the same thing. I will prove this result in a later video, after we have seen and proved some properties of the dot product. So let's look at an example. Suppose this is the vector x, where the modulus of vector x is equal to 5, and this is the vector y, where the modulus of vector y is equal to 6, and the angle between the two vectors is 60 degrees. Then the dot product of vector x with vector y is equal to the modulus of vector x times the modulus of vector y times the cosine of the angle between the two vectors, so this is equal to 5 times 6 times the cosine of 60 degrees. And the cos of 60 degrees is a half. So this is equal to 15. So the result of a dot product is a scalar. So it's just a number. It is not a vector.